Hello, Hello guys. guys. Welcome to Architect Hong. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bells. Please share it with your friends and follow us on Instagram. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial of SketchUp. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to take elevation sections and how to turn on the shadows. Uh, so the first thing we are going to talk about how to turn off uh, your shadow as you can see from here we have some uh, tools that it says uh, entire info material style and etc so we are going to head to shadows uh, from here as you can see we have uh, uh, the sitting or how to manage the sun lines and uh, from where the sun is coming how it will affect the building so as you can see from over here it's already giving some shadows but if you want to change the shadow uh, basically you just changing uh, this is going to be the daylights from here you can change them in a way you want it but if, for example if the times from a morning to the evening how it looks like so it's that's this part is going to be that easy but now let's head uh, jump to the part of how to take elevations so before as you can see i have some views over here which uh, give me the elevation sites if uh, if you don't have them over here so uh, if you're curious why i don't have this tools in my sketchup it's super easy you're just going to right click on the side of the sketchup and as you can see here it called views so views it's your elevations and make sure that tick mark is on for example if i uh, remove the tick mark as you can see it will be gone so that's reason you don't have it so make sure that uh, views uh, are here and also for the section port as you can see over here make sure that the section also tick mark on and also for the shadows guys i want to mention if you don't if you don't have this port but uh, just uh, going over here and bringing the shadow uh, basically over here so that easy guys uh, for example uh, the shadow is now off by clicking on this shadow button icon and it will bring the shadow for you and that easy guys even you don't have to go all the way over here but in case if you need to work on details so let's uh, go and take uh, elevations so how are we going to take elevations uh, first of all we have to choose a site for example here it says back left front and top and uh, which is iso which is the isometric drawing as you can see so let's go and see from one side if we take elevations for example we we need to take elevations from here but the first thing what we have to do is we have to change the camera you have to go to camera and change the perspective to parallel uh, why i will explain that because in a perspective as you can see we see everything in 3d almost but not quite but if, if we change it to parallel it will give you only 2D uh, dimensions on one side of your SketchUp drawing. On that reason, we have to pick uh, parallel. So now what we have to do, the second thing is we, we will go to files and we will go to export and to do 2D graphic. Now, once you came here, you make sure where you want to save your file. Let's save it somewhere for example over here on my elevation port now on this port what we have we have choices like pdf eps windows bitman and jpeg uh, and autocad and extra 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 so uh what what i what you want for example over here if you want to change it to pdf by simply clicking on pdf it will export your elevation to pdf but if you wanted to autocad you just pick the autocad file and it will export it to autocad now we will do both of them autocad and pdf and image or any any of that so let's go into doing the first thing as an image which is called jpeg as you can see over here and export it that easy guys our file already exported but if you want to have more elevation from the other side and we will pick another view for example 
let's say from here so the camera will show it's parallel make sure for your or elevation that you're doing it's parallel uh, you should not change it to perspective uh, now we will do the same thing we will go to export and to the graphic and for now on, on in here I want to change it to AutoCAD so that we did one for uh, JPEG now we're going to do for AutoCAD so him simply by clicking export it's going to export it now let's do one more and we will pick PDF so let's go on the site planning as you can see the shadow looks very nice on the side of the building uh, that's why shadow is very important make sure if you're using if you're working with details so make sure your shadows on so it is parallel as you can see now we will go again on the file and we will click to export and we will go to 2d graphic and from here we will pick pdf uh, that easy guys it's super fast you don't have to worry and it will uh, give you whatever you want so now let's do one more thing as an isometric also you can bring some 3ds in autocad which is amazing um, if you want for example a view uh, from here for example to dwg file let's do it and see how it looks like I wonder how it will look like so let's go to AutoCAD and make sure you clicking on AutoCAD DWG file so it's very important uh, if you're using another kind of AutoCAD I mean it really uh, doesn't matter but uh, whatever you want so what program are you using usually I use AutoCAD so in that reason I always keep them in AutoCAD file so now our file list all of them already and completely exported to gpx pdf and uh, autocad now we will go and jump in on the things that we saved let's pick the first one that we did as a gpx file was uh, as a picture so as a picture as you can see it will be look like that uh well of course it will bring you the same picture as a autocad as a sketchup file so for presentation of if you want to present uh, your drawings or whatever you have i really don't recommend using uh, the image part now let's go and see how it looks like on pdf as you can see on pdf it looks much nicer but still there is still some problems i mean the shadow didn't came or by that reason uh, uh let's uh, we don't want to use pdf so the, the good thing is we have to all the time we have to use uh, AutoCAD so in AutoCAD also we can bring uh, we can draw the shadows by ourselves well that SketchUp helps you and see how the shadows going on the ground as as I told you last time uh, if you want to bring the shadows and the details on your drawings so as you can see now our 3d shape came in AutoCAD it looks perfect I really like it and all the details as you can see over here we have them uh, no mistake um, very uh, nicely done and let's go for the elevation parts and see how our elevation came so this was another drawing i did which is i do not oh as i believe i did it on this one but uh, uh, we can export it again uh, our elevation which sites for example this site we need it we do export to the graphic AutoCAD let's change the name the same name will not work I believe we didn't change the name that's the reason it didn't export so okay I believe it came here guys it came here guys as you can see our elevation looks much way nicer but there is some extra details which we don't need it but we can erase them from here or you can design it in a way you want it so now let's take sections guys as you see elevation was super easy now what we will do guys it's ex we will do the exact same thing we did but in a very way different in a very 
uh, it won't be that different what I am trying to tell you. For example, if you wanna, if you use furniture, as you can see over here, but you wanna bring your plants on uh, uh, on uh, AutoCAD, so it's the same thing that we can do it on the section. But let's start by doing a section on one side. So let's pick first of all our views and change the camera. Oh, we can change it later, but by now let's see if I want to take my sections from here. All right, uh, make sure you click on the section part and by dragging it, as you can see guys, the section looks almost perfect. Uh, I believe it was on the other side, yes guys. So now we will change the camera again to parallel. As you can see, our section looks very nice, clear with details and the things you need. Uh, but one thing, guys, I want to mention uh, before you going to uh, export your file uh, in PDF or JPEG files or images, uh, make sure you fix your camera. For example, in AutoCAD doesn't matter because it will bring it however you are consistent to bring it in AutoCAD. But and uh, JPEG file and uh, for the PDF, make sure you are getting a very good view which is we are don't want to waste on the two sides of your buildings. So now what we have to do, we will do the same thing we did last time. We will just go on X file and export to 2D graphics. And here uh, we choose, for example, the same thing. Let's pick AutoCAD. AutoCAD uh, is one of the best. For example, let's write section AA. How we name it section AA and let's go and check it how it looks like. Uh, as you can see, our section is ready here, but you have to put the detail for the staircase. Uh, and the rest is looking very good. As you can see over here, all the details all came. Now let's go and see how the plants will looks like if we do it. So now what we have to do is uh, make sure you remove this part of the section part you did. And uh, let's go on the top view and take a section from here and on the top you will click it if you pick on the sides it will give you section from the side if you pick from the other side it will give you from the other side so uh, make sure the the point you want want to take sections you point them exactly on a place you want for example let's go on the top so we click on the top over here but we cannot see the plants. So what we have to do is we have to move it a little bit to the down part. So here, now we will go to the top view. As you can see, we can see the furniture inside, which is good. So now we will go on the parallel. As you can see, everything looks perfect. Even you have shadows and also you can change it to PDF files. It looks, I think, better because everything is clear. So now let's go and, and check it on AutoCAD, how it looks like. And we, I want to do it one on PDF. So for printing, how it looks like, let's say plan A, let's say ground floor plan. So we will export and one more we will do as a JPEG to the graphic from here we use JPEG file and we do export so uh, we have to change the name okay down floor so let's go and see how it looks like as you can see here we have our ground floor as a picture, which looks almost nice, but still, oh, you have your shadows, everything, but with a little bit of work on Photoshop, I believe you can present it in a way you want it. But let's check in uh, foot and uh, PDF, how it looks like. So we will do the same thing, export again to the graphic and we will change to JPEG to PDF and we will name it ground floor. So let's see. Here guys, oh, it looks so perfect. Uh, the furniture, the 
wall were cut it it's almost clear uh, but it really needs a little bit of work and let's go and see how it looks like if we change it to AutoCAD I believe we did already change it to AutoCAD let's find ground floor plans here guys as you can see we have ground floors everything ready almost and um, for this video uh, it's going to be this much and uh, for the next video we will talk about more about how to use AutoCAD or any kind of drawings on how to work in details in AutoCAD um, thank you for watching guys uh, I, I hope uh, this video helped you if it did help make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, follow us on uh, uh, Instagram page I will put a link in the description and uh, if you want to share with your friends I really appreciate that so I hope to see you on the next video have a great day I ain't close doors, I'm a fool for your love